Hey guys, today is going to be interesting because I had planned to, first of all, I had planned to do this P image um, with heads of people in here. I thought that would be funny. And I tried and I found like random heads and it just, it just wasn't working for me, I guess. But then I came across and I should also say, I had planned to do this on the camera, and then when the plans weren't working out, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do this one on my own time. And now I'm clearly doing it on camera again because I just need to talk through the ideas. So after the heads idea didn't work out, I had remembered that I had a bunch of these earths and they're all exactly the same. So I was like, well, what if I do like, a bunch of earths in this pea pod. Um, they are similar to the right size. They're a smidge smaller, but I think it could work. Um, so then that was my idea going forward. I was like, okay, what, what, what can we do with this image? So I have this um, astronaut guy and I was like, well, maybe he's floating. I could cut the pea out and put it onto a space type backdrop like this, have it sitting on this planet and then I could have this guy floating in the black space. It could work, it could work. Um, but then I came across another image that has me questioning the space idea. So I'll put these two off to the side. And this was just another uh, background. Like I could put the P here if I just needed some flat background. This could work. But then I came across this image and I was like, <gasps> Do they, if they stood on the peas, like, would it work? Like, I feel like it would almost work so perfectly that I can't not do it. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> it's kind of a really odd, awkward, random picture of these kids standing weird. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it might work way too perfectly to pass it up. You know what I mean? Um, so then I was thinking, okay, well, I need, I've got two elements here, but I don't have a background. So then I went into my big book, which is probably where both of these came from. So I could see what kind of large backgrounds I had. And I have two to choose from, which is this one. And I liked that the green plays off of it. And then I could have the kids all here, but they might actually cover up the moons, in which case that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, so there was that background option. And then I had this one, which was a lot busier. And I was thinking, uh, maybe I don't like it because of how busy it is, but I thought we could nestle the pea pod in these people and then have the boys standing there and just kind of have the this crowd in the background. I thought that could be an option. Um, and then of course we can still use oops, this as a background, although that's not gonna work because there's too much text there. Okay, so that doesn't work. So I think I am leaning toward at least giving the the kids a try on the peas uh, before we pursue the space idea. Let me know in the comments which one you guys uh, think will turn out, but we're gonna see if we can try, kind of try both to see what works best. So I'm gonna put that one off to the side and for all of these ideas, I do think cutting out the pea pod is the best option. Um, 
And then another option is like, do I include this leaf? So I think I will to start and then we'll see. I can always cut it off if I don't like it. So, um, yes, let's start with cutting some of these options out and seeing, I guess, what we have to properly work with. And maybe these guys won't stand properly on the peas and it won't work out and it won't look good. And then we can go ahead with the space idea. So let's just find out, I guess. Alrighty, we've got some of the elements cut out. Um, the, some of these pieces will need to be more finely trimmed, but just to see how it fits together. I haven't tried this yet, so let's see. Okay, so I mean, pretty close, not as perfect as I thought, but it's pretty close. Let's see, let's see it on some of the backgrounds. Maybe that'll help, help us make a decision. We could nestle, nestle the pea pod in the city here. Actually, that could work. It's kind of interesting. And we are able to see some of the moon cycle. That is kind of funny. I don't hate it. So let's see what the next one is. Okay, so we would nestle the pea pod in the people somehow. And then have these guys. Yeah, I feel like this is a bit too busy. I'm sort of actually surprisingly leaning toward this one. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but I do. So I think, I think we should pursue this one. All right, now let's figure out some logistics of getting the pea pod properly nestled in the city. I think I like that. So we definitely need to cut out this bulk of the city. So let's do that. I'm trying to situate them in a way that we can really see the pea pod nestled into the city. Also, these guys have to be like sitting properly <laughs> straight, you know? And also, would like to see as much of the moon cycle as I can get. It might have to be that, which I actually kind of love. So <laughs> this has turned out um, better than I thought it would because I didn't know where we were going to go with this. So um, yeah, let's just get into the gluing process. realize how much the sun was uh, glaring on this image but I think it looks kind of neat so that is the piece for today's video I guess I don't know if I will include any more in this video but there it is all right so the next one that I had thought of was to um, I haven't tried anything like this before. Um, like you guys know, I'm really new to collaging. This is only like my, I don't know, fourth collage. But I was thinking if I cut like the elements inside the room, if I cut them out and then, and then somehow cut the window out and then put a different background in there, I thought that could be really interesting. Um, 
yeah, I'm not really sure how it's going to translate, but I guess we should just see what we can do. Now, like, I can look through my, my space folder if I want to make it a space background. That might work. Although, although, although I'm not exactly sure if that's quite the direction I want to go into, we will see. super intense but I feel like it competes because they're both the background and the foreground are both uh, black with like reddish tones reddish orange tones so I think that's not quite the right look either what else have we got see that's black with the orange which I'm not super feeling right now how about something like this I just don't know if the black, like it's such a, cause this image is already so dark. I wonder maybe if we could find like a, like not a space image, but like a sky from like a nice day where like the sky is blue. Maybe that could work. Here's just some nature scenes. I could put them in the mountains. I don't particularly like this image per se, but I think it has, the idea of it has potential. Let's see what we have in the small ones first. Nothing too small, of course. Ooh, oh, but then we're back to the orange and I don't think I like the water. Orange. I need to cut the mountain out and then I still have to find a sky. What if we do like a farm town scene? Hmm. Don't love it. What else? These are too small. I mean, that's better. That's a lot better. I don't hate that one. However, I wanted to use this background image to utilize the homes. So I don't know if I want to you know, cut that one out and then not make use of the houses. Oh, it's red again. Nope. Water. How about this one? It's in like a field. It kind of goes with like the, the vibes of this, this room. I don't know, something about it kind of goes, kind of goes with it. I don't hate that one. I like that one actually. Let's see what else we can find. We have so many options that like, we can look around before we commit to something. So here are my full pages. Let's see what kind of options we have here. No. It's a bit plain, although if I put them in there, the workers, the field workers. Mm.
Oh, that's kind of neat. I kind of like that. So here's like the mountains I was saying. Oh, that's cool. I can make it like a really tall image. Maybe not that tall, but like, you know, really tall image. That kind of is neat. Okay, well, it's an option. It's an option. I didn't care for the water because I think it distracts because like where do you put the water then you only see a little bit of it it's like weird and then I also don't want to go with something too orange this I feel like might just be too plain as much as I love this it's just too busy and I would have gone for it anyway, just because the vibes fit, like it's, they're both really high contrast images, but we're trying to narrow things down. So now we've got the green. Hmm. Or do a mountain and do like a really, oh, I could do a vertical one in this too. If I just bring it down a little lower. And be nice and vertical that way um, okay so my the other element I want to and I don't have to keep this window in here if I don't like the way it looks and I don't think I do actually I think it it uh, disrupts the idea of what's going on so I'm not gonna use this but the other element that I wanted to play around with in this collage is I'd like to cut the TV out and have something coming out of the TV. Um, like my first thought is a fish, but, um, and then maybe if I find the correct thing to come out of the TV, that'll help determine which background to use because they're very different color schemes and stuff. Um, and also like I could have something coming out of this square thing as well I don't know what that would be but um, I had thought too I could cut out the whole entire floor because everything kind of connects but then I think that might disrupt the illusion as well so I think we'll just stick with finding something to come out of the TV first and then we'll we'll come back to the background most of them are big like I guess like maybe I could have this eagle coming out of the TV I suppose that could work and then just have the feet in the TV and then the wings outside of the TV I mean we can play with, play with that idea I want it to be something dynamic so not just an animal like like, I don't want an animal just perched on the TV, although that would be kind of funny because he's huge. But, um, oh, there's a squirrel. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll, we'll think about that one. Could have the giraffe head sticking out <laughs> of the, whatever this pit is. Let's see, what else? tried a couple of different ways of inserting the seal. I thought of him like this and then I cut out the larger square and then I tried it like this to get more water but in this version I guess you could say um, it just looks like a cut out piece of the floor and it looks like why did you do that? Whereas this it looks like he's actually part of the scene like there is actually this piece from the original background you know what I mean so I do like this one better so we'll probably stick him in there and now we can kind of figure out what we like 
in the TV, which I'm kind of excited to look through. Okay, see, that's kind of funny. That's, that's a thing, okay. It's kind of like two creature heads. Let's see. This guy, this was, yeah, this one was my first idea. So, that's kind of him coming out of the TV. Although I could probably put his tail feathers back there as well. And it might sell the illusion a bit more. I don't know, I'm feeling like his wings are a little bit like blending in with the background because it's all so dark. Hmm. I thought I would like that one a lot more. Alright, let's see this guy. This guy's pretty white, so he might. Yeah, he does come through the TV a bit better. You can see him off the dark background. I don't mind that. Let's see how the squirrel looks. Hmm. <laughs> Funnily enough, I, I don't like super love any of them. I think there is some merit to the idea, but I I don't know if any of these guys are are the the ticket, you know? Um I was thinking just as I was playing with this here what if we, because I do like him in there, because he actually like sells the idea of him coming out of the TV. And then if we brought the window back in, I don't know, we could stick the bird behind the window. We could stick him coming out of the window somehow. And it's just the background, just because there's two eagles, but then this guy looks a little bit out of place if we're doing like an eagle theme, you know? So, hmm. <laughs> okay, with the seal being blue, I do like the mountains a lot better. I'm trying to figure out if there was like a closer mountain, he could be still in the scene. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have in our people folder. Okay, so I spent quite a lot of time looking for some other options for this TV. Um, nothing really, like, super jumps out at me as being, like, perfect. I have a few different options here that I want to kind of test out to see if anything works. Um, just gotta finish cutting this guy's hand out and then, then we'll look through our options, I guess. So let's see how the hand works. I mean, it does fill out the the TV space pretty good, and I don't know, maybe I could have it pointing up, and then he's pointing at something in the sky. I mean, that could be kind of interesting. I wonder if it creates too much of a tangent with the fan there. Well, there we go, that would be a little bit better. Okay, so that's an option. And then I just had this Coke bottle. I wasn't sure if it could fit anywhere. 
See, that's funny, I guess, but you can't really tell that it's a specifically Coke bottle. What else have we got here is on option? Then we've got this airplane that could be coming out of the screen. I mean, that's not bad. Put this little guy back in there. The only thing is it doesn't make a, like a ton of sense, like what's happening with the airplane, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it, it's, a, it's an option, so we'll put it there. And then my last one, which now that I'm looking at it, I feel like the head will be too big. If we stick this llama head in here. I mean, that's decently funny. I kind of like that. And the seal, we've got a bit of an animal theme happening. Okay, so we've got that figured out. Wow. And now do we like the mountainous scene or the spacey scene? I think I like the green spacey scene. So then we will glue the back of this and place it. All right, these are the two that we um, came up with today. I put them both on black cardstock. So uh, this one, this one uh, turned out like this. It, I will be honest, is not my favorite, but um, it has some interesting qualities to it. This one I really enjoy. This one I think is quite funny because it's got like some kind of weird element that like the full moon I think really lends itself to the obscureness of this kind of a <laughs> image. And it's kind of cool that they're both like in a green tone, very different greens, but still greenish. Um, so yeah, these are the two collages from today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. I also hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!